With the big headline, the United Auto Workers strike spreading now to more locations across the country. Good evening once again. The strike has expanded, but it's not yet impacting the auto plants here in western New York. Yeah, so let's break down today's developments by numbers right now. A total of 38 plants are now on strike across 20 states. Analysts say the automakers have lost production of more than 16,000 vehicles since the strike began last week, and experts say consumers could quickly feel the impact if dealers start running short on parts. But even with the expansion today, the strike involves only about 10% of the UAW's 146,000 members. In bargaining, the union is asking for big raises, pointing at huge profits among automakers. But the companies say that they just can't afford to meet those demands because they need to invest in transitioning from gas to electric vehicles. Union reps say it does appear some progress is being made at Ford, but we have yet to hear from General Motors or Stellantis. And I spoke with local union leaders about the ongoing negotiations, asking them if they're ready to strike if needed. We're heading in the right direction with some of the early, as far as the proposals that have just recently come out. Local UAW 686 President Mike DeLucas tells me there is some good news when it comes to UAW negotiations with automakers. He's calling a recent counterproposal a step in the right direction for GM CH facilities. DeLucas tells me the proposal from GM includes wage increases not offered before. They were initially asking for a 40 percent increase over four years. We just thought it was uh, time because they've been profitable. Where are you at now? They they countered your 40% with what? And now where are you at? Well, it's approximately about 25 to 27%. This is definitely a, a great improvement from the 0% that they've offered us in the initial proposal. So I'm actually sitting out here at the GM facility in Langhorne, Pennsylvania, local 2177 where they went on strike today at noon. I also spoke with Raymond Jensen, the UAW Region 9 Assistant Director. He says negotiations are going slow. Like, are you prepared to strike? Absolutely. Our membership is fired up and we're ready. Since 2003, the big three have closed a combined 65 plants. We just are looking for our fair share. DeLuca says a part of what they're asking for is job security. They rejected all of our proposals to have the right to strike over plant closures. He says they also rejected the proposal to reinstate the cost of living allowance, and there are other key demands they have yet to agree upon. We've been working without any cost of living adjustments. They rejected our proposal for enhanced profit sharing. They've rejected our proposal for temps. So let's just uh, summarize those bullet points. You say that they, they have come oh, no. back with what you view as a reasonable now counter proposal when it comes to a wage increase, but they're just not there yet on numerous other things. The wage is getting there. There's there's some issues. Um, it's it's actually um, some things that go along with the wages as far as other things that we're looking for, you know, um, benefit package, wages and benefit packages and stuff like that. As negotiations continue, local workers say they are ready to strike if they feel it's necessary. And we don't want to strike, uh, but we will if we have to. So clearly a developing story, but of course we're going to stay on top of it as we learn more about the negotiations across the country and here at home yeah, as well. Potentially broad impact, mm -hmm. right? Across right.